spawning up here in the top right of Dr. Sanctuary. In orange, our Protoss player from the Risen community. It is Proxy. And his opponent in the bottom left in purple from Cranky Ducklings. He's still their last hope. It's milk and cookies. Huge map. Cross bonds. This should be fun. TVP on a massive map. Uh, neither player can really get away with doing something super cheeky or slow. So much opportunity for moving around. As we saw in the previous game with Milk and Cookies, just abusing drop play. Uh, that could work out pretty well for him in this game if he decides to go the same route. But of course, Protoss players. The ability to warp out on the other side of the map is pretty nice. So having reinforcements on the other side of the map instantly uh, is definitely great compared to a Terran player having to walk across the other side of the map. You see a very quick Nexus here for the Protoss player. But pretty much a standard opener. Reaper is going to be the first choice for our Terran. Probe does get in and scout the positioning, so he does know it's cross positions at this point. Imagine the natural command center will be coming down here just shortly. 450 minerals. There we go. No surprises there. We do have a second gas for Proxy coming up. First one was taken in the usual time. It was a matter of time, but to see. Stargate could be an interesting play on this map, uh, just to open with. It would take a very long time for anything to get across the map, oracles or otherwise. This probe doesn't look like he's going home. Curious where he's going. Oh, the Reaper. The Reaper might run directly into it. Oh, he's just looking for a proxy anyway. I mean, the guy's name is Proxy. He's playing Protoss. Why would you not look for a proxy? <laughs> At this point. Let's be real here. Probe is still hanging around on this side of the map, though. You see an adept on the way. We have a factory on the way with a reactor on this barracks. It's a nice, safe opener. Maybe get some cyclones. Twilight Council thrown up pretty quickly here by the protest play before a robo or anything else. Probe looks like it's going to walk in and try and see the tech. Oh, oh, if it gets up there. Oh, if it gets up there and puts piling down. Darn it. It's one of my favorite hilarious moves that a protoss can do is if a building is lifted, just throw a pylon down. Reaper on this side of the map, scouting around. You're going to be able to see everything. Sees the twilight finish up. Actually in the middle line. Adept is on this side of the map, however, there's really nothing to deal with it. There is a widow mine. You could just burrow this up here. He's going to do just that. He's going to get it. Oh, wow. Got out of range. Say we got out of range. Reaper meanwhile did get one kill. I should have gets blocked off by the probes. Look at the heroes. The hero probes there. And actually it's the depth just being annoying. Uh, it's just unable to... Uh, no FCVs get to come down, apparently. This SV is still waiting here. <laughs> it's just funny. It's a lot of widow mines here for milk and cookies to begin with. I like the little skin he's got in the Widow Mines as well. The Depth will get away, however. I think he's. I'm not sure if he thinks that the Depth Shades take the shots, but they really don't. He's gonna let that finish, but so now it's gonna take a shot. There we go. Widow Mine kills that. Widow Mine's probably gonna get picked up and taken across the map with this meta back here. There is a Robo on the way somewhere. There it is. Robo is on the way. Blink on the way. Liberator on the way. Just all of the harassing tech is on the way here uh, for our Terran player. Uh, so he's going to be seeing what he can get done with these small amount of units. We do have our first observer it is being crowned out. We've got at least one stalker. He's got blink being researched as well. Uh, it's just kind of a matter of this is your opener as a Terran. You want to get as many workers as you possibly can with these window mines. Um, hopefully not just get all stalkers. Of course, the window mines don't last nearly as long as they used to as they are revealed as soon as uh, they shoot off without the observer. Medivac is here now. It's I mean, it's scattered. It's not doing anything. It needs to react. There it goes. 
Moondog is going to fly on in. How many more kills going to get? Nice pull here from the Protoss player, but one would mind is kind of trailing all the... Oh, he picked it up! He picked it up! He could have just dropped it. It would have been fine. This should get a few kills, but it's actually going for the Stalker instead, so... Oh, that could have been so much worse for the Protoss player. All of these probes could have died. I'm not sure how many that is, but that's a lot of probes that could have died there. I think it's 19. All of those could have been killed. Liberator is on this side of the map, getting a few kills as well. So six probes have died. Seven now. But this could have been so, so much worse for the Protoss player. The mid -back did get cleaned up, so that's really nice by, uh, by proxy. Still, more and more Widow Mines being made by Milk of Cookies. Um, this is such an annoying style to have to play against. Colossus Range is being researched, actually, so that's a nice kind of response to it. I don't know if he knows necessarily if there's a lot of Widow Mines. Or if it's just his normal tech route. Of course, he did lose quite a few workers, so his money isn't quite where he wants it to be right now. Uh, making his first... Is over here? No, he's just looking around. Third Nexus come up. Sorry, he's, he's making his first sensory there, so he'll be able to eventually hallucinate and get across the map. And he even use hallucinations to take Widowmine shots, which is also really nice. One of the other detriments for those Widowmines. All of the upgrades being researched right now for the Terran player. Plus one, plus one attack and armor. Stem, combat shield is on the way as well. We even have an armory being thrown out already, so he'll be able to go into that plus two, plus two. His third command center has started. Uh, I mean, the Colossus range started, but we haven't seen any Colossus in production just yet. Uh, granted, Proxy has been quite a bit down uh, in his money. Liberator tries to get in, but is sniped off really quickly. Doesn't get any work done. I think that was just the initial Liberator. I know that there are no more on the map right now. And now, it's mainly just Stalkers here for the Protoss player. A lot of Marines, a couple of Marauders, and six Widow Mines for the Terran. Large drop going to be coming in here by our Terran player. Uh, there is this probe, or probe, there is this uh, observer on this side of the map, so you will be able to see this coming. Oh, the Adept was on the Watchtower, but it walks away from it. There's a probe on the map, I assume, probably going to try to make a, a pylon somewhere. No, he's just trying to scout. He's just looking for the third base. Another one of mine being uh, taken uh, around for a, a ride. But really, what is the reaction time for our Protoss player? Uh, right now, he's not really looking at anything where this drop's supposed to be coming in. He sees it. He knows it's there at this point. It's a matter of, does he have enough units to actually get over there? Big warp in to try and deal with this, but a Widow Mine gets thrown down. Actually, a blink on top of it. It's going to keep it from actually doing any damage. A lot of Stalkers over here. He's going to pick up. He's going to go to the main base, but he does have blink finish. So he could just blink on top of all of those, but he's going to... Oh, he backs out of it. Probably a good decision there by Milk and Cookies. Uh, he most likely would have lost all of those units. Uh, given Blink was finished, and he knew that Blink was finished. We do have a Fusion Core being thrown down here uh, by the Terran player. Uh, Starport is still on the reactor. He is making Liberator, so he might be going for Liberator range. I doubt he's going to be going for any battle cruisers. Be a little bit ridiculous. We do have the first Colossus out on the map, finally. And of course, this is seen by proxy. He knows this is coming. He knows this is over here. He's got the Observer in a really good position. Oh no, he picks up with the Medivacs. Well, those Medivacs may go down. There's a bunch of stalkers up here. There's actually a cannon here. He needs to do something. He keeps doing this. He keeps leaving these in bad spots. Uh, he's going to lose all of this if he's not careful. Yeah, you're in a bad spot now. These Medivacs, they have so much value in there. They are full of units. I mean, there's three Marauders. Four. Ten Marines. Plus the two Medivacs. There's two Cannons here. There's two Stalkers. Not going to be able to drop there. Proxy, if you just... If you just Baby sets us a little bit with a few units. He should be just fine. And he's going to try and drop, but he doesn't get anything out. He gets one Marine to drop down before he loses both of the Medivacs with all of those units in it. Huge loss there for the Terran player. I mean, that said, he's not in a terrible spot. The one bigger problem probably is that the Proxy's already gone to his fourth base. There's a Colossus walking across the map. One of my shot does get off, get a nice bit of damage done past the shields. So that's nice. There's four Widow Mines burrowed in the same spot right now. He's not walking directly into that location just yet, but he may walk directly there. If he walks directly into this, I'm going to be so sad for him. No. Okay. 
He is bypassing all of that. He's going to try and go in directly to the third base. This isn't blocked off. If this were blocked off, it would be a lot nicer right now for the Terran play. But as it stands, this base is going to be under fire. I don't really know if he can come up here and deal with it. There isn't really anything to answer for this Colossus. SFE is going to get shredded. CC does get lifted. Laborers do come in to help out. He could lift up the Widow Mines, perhaps, and try and flank on the back side of this. He's just choosing not to do so. Command Center does stay alive. That's probably the most important part here for the Terran player. Keeping that alive was extremely important. Didn't want to lose that. We ever see our first two Stargates in production here for our Protoss player. He's got plus one air weapons on the way as well. He's adding in some Immortals. Only the single Colossus, actually. Uh, despite getting range, he's only going for the one Colossus so far. We do have Widow Mines in random locations right now. Uh, Drop does get picked up. See what he decides to do with that. But he actually runs directly into uh, the army. That would be pretty sad for him. He may do just that. The Colossus do see it. You don't know if he has enough to blink over on top of it. In fact, he really, really doesn't. So what is he going to be able to do to respond to this? Does he have a lot of stalkers warped in back home? That's what he does to respond to it. No problem. He's actually going to go hunt this down. He's probably going to take it out pretty easily. Right on top of my logo. Nice. So that goes down at the same time. There's a main engagement happening out. But still is only the one Colossus. Nice force fields by the Protoss player. Keeping all that bio back away from two Colossus there. They are still going to stem forward here. There's not a lot of buffer for them. Those go down at this point. It's just stem bio against Stalkers. Stalkers only have plus one, plus one. They're going up against plus one, plus one bio with medevac support and stem, combat shield, all those good things. Uh, the good, of course, it is really nice for Proxy that he did kill this drop over on the other side of the map. Took that out easy peasy. Uh, so he's not losing the economy at the same time during all this. Just trying to trade right now. Uh, a lot of this bio is very weak. A bit of an overstim there by Cookies. He has very low medevacs. And he's at three now. He actually added on his second uh, starport. Did he get the lib range? He didn't get lib range though. Stalker's over there looking for maybe uh, waiting for this command center to float down or maybe even try to get into the main at some point. Uh, probably just looking for the command center at this point though. Oh, nice snipe on a medevac there. Two medevacs that should go down to those stalkers. Make it a third one even. Almost gets three medevacs for just some stalkers, which is a great trade at this position of the game. Uh, so really well done there by our Protoss player. There we go. We do have lib range coming in now. We've got three starports at this point. Does he know about the stargates? He doesn't know about the stargates at all. So it's just a, a decent read, I suppose. We do have the Temple Archive, so finally... Storm is a possibility, but at this point for Proxy, it may be a little bit too late because Milk Cookies is moving across the map. Luckily, they are still uneven upgrades, so it's not going to be a huge deal. It is four, three Liberators already. This is an extremely powerful push. Medevac energy, Medevac numbers are pretty low for what he has over here, however. Three Liberators in production at once. There we go. Two Carriers are going to be the choice. There are a couple more Stargates as well. Uh, looks like Proxy just does not have the money despite having the bases. This Nexus is going to fall pretty quickly. Liberators are sieged up. Looking like Proxy is going to want to come up behind this uh, and try and do what he can. But another Liberator, Liberator sieges up behind it. Uh, and honestly, Milk could have. Well, he could pick up and go to the main base if he wants to do that. But I don't recommend it. This Medivacs are extremely low on health. Liberator finishes up. So this is going to be extremely hard to deal with here. Our, there's two Colossus now. Three more Libs come in. Oh my god. Not a great answer right now for the Protoss player to deal with this. He's just going to have to wait for his carriage to finish up. But when they do, there's so many Marines down here. Uh, maybe. There's a lot of Marauders, but there we go. There's the Marines. A lot of the Marines actually do die off trying to push forward through that. Liberators, they got to move forward some. He's got help for some of them, but there are a bunch in the back that aren't really helping out right now. There's two in the back here that aren't helping. And again, the low medevac count right now is probably hurting Milk quite a bit. Two Liberators do get sniped off the blink forward there. Two Colossus try and run forward, do what they can. One more Liberator does remain. Two Liberators actually on that ramp, doing a ton of damage. Finally, we have a couple of carriers that finish up. He's still waiting for these two to finish. Uh, he's got a Disruptor being produced at the same time. Liberators getting shots off on the main army. The main army is actually just sitting and bathing in this. Carriers are going to join the fight now. This bio is so low, the carriers may be able to clean this up. I think all of the Marines have died off. The Liberators are all left. All that is left that I can actually shoot air. But they're shooting at all of the Interceptors instead of the carriers themselves. So the carriers 
are going to be able to push this back at least. Uh, he could possibly milk and cookies, go for just the Nexus, but isn't quite able to do that. A pretty decent force on this side of the map. There actually is a factory with a tech lab in the middle of the map right now. I'm not sure if he was trying to make Thors or something out of that. Of course, we have four Vikings being produced at once and a medevac as well. So a lot of potential, <laughs> a lot of potential air uh, able to be created here uh, by the Terran player. There are a couple of Liberators up in the corner of the map. Uh, looking like they're probably going to try and go for some sort of harassment uh, while this main engagement goes on. Uh, no, they're going to actually come back to the main army, it seems. A little bit worried. That is four carriers, and right now you have just a lot of marauders. Ten marauders, 44 marines. There they are. They've joined the fight, finally. Oh, this disruptor could get such a large shot. Oh, the liberator's going to walk right into everything. But they're fine. No problem. <laughs> NP. Lives probably going to get sniped off by the carriers at this point, but... Just a little bit faster than carriers. Carriers are quite a bulky unit. But then the libs just stand still. So, those do get taken out. That is a lot of bile down here, though. And it looks like Proxy's going to try and go for this fourth base, but Vikings do come up here with that. Again, everything is fighting interceptors. They're not actually focused on the carriers themselves. Uh, so they take a lot of damage. A lot of those... Uh, Vikings do get killed off. The Shrepter are going to get killed as well. Oh, there's two carriers in the middle of the map. He just uses recall. I don't think he can recall for quite some time now. Uh, so those might get sniped off pretty easily here. Again, not focusing down the carrier itself, focusing a lot of the interceptors, but those do go down. That's a lot of resources to lose all at once for essentially free. There are a couple of Vikings that did die to that, uh, but yeah, two carriers not worth that much of a damage. Plus two, plus two, finally on the way for our Terran player. Uh, meanwhile, we do have the plus two air opens on the way for our Protoss. Terran is moving across the map, however. Uh, there are a good number of medevacs. They're just having a hard time catching up to the bio itself. All these carriers looking for some looking for some damage. And if Milk Cookies isn't careful, it doesn't focus down the actual carrier itself. He could lose his entire army once again. Could just focus the Nexus and probably get out of here. Carrier's going to try and swing in and see what they can get done. Quite a bit going down there. The Vikings are finally focusing on a carrier itself, but Interceptors even don't do too well against this Marine count. I'm thinking most of the Interceptors are dead at this point. There's only nine left, actually. Yeah, you can see that number dropping up in the top left corner. There's a lot of carriers. There's five carriors, but they only have nine Interceptors between them. Marines just stemming forward. 30 probes have died. Look at the supply. Look as we go. GG from Proxy. We're going to go to an ace set, 3-3 three three tied up here in this all kill.